Grab this, real quick. Five seconds. Make sure you get Alright. <laughs> okay, now it's gonna take forever for the crops to grow because I don't have any watering source. Or is it nine ten nine? Alright. Rice? Wait, did I just get seven rice out of that? There's the rain! Oh, it's raining! Yay, rain! Okay. Gunpowder? I should have. Four electrons in there. Nice. I should. You know what? Oh, first creeper. Okay. Since everything melts at a different rate, yes. And start pulling stuff out before I even got melted. There's a way to shut that off. Buy a redstone thing or something. Create gold coin. thing in there somewhere. Oh, let's kill it. <laughs> Compress creepers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him. You know what? Let's, let's go into Mumble. Let's see if see if Mumble will work.
Hello. Hello. He only makes one, huh? Yeah, I just looked at the recipe. It's just one. If it made two in the alloy unlimited gold. In the alloy smelter? Everything. Odd. A gold coin. The uses. Why is it showing two nuggets for me on the alloy smelter? Hmm. Any eyes telling me if I put gold coins in an alloy smelter, I get two gold nuggets? I don't Strange. know. Strange. <laughs> like I said, I don't know if it works. I don't have any of those machines yet. So I can't test it. Yeah, I'm looking at the alloy smelter right here, and it's showing gold coin produces one gold nugget. Okay, so then any eyes lying to me then? It sure would be an easy dupe. <laughs> you cook them up into nuggets and put them in the drawer to make them into coins again. Mm hmm. Crazy. Barrels probably work the same way. With a barrel, you can lock it so that it only accepts one item. Well, yeah. not accepts, but, uh... Yeah. Well, it would be locked to whatever you stuck in there. Yep. Uh, what do I got? I have... Wait. Two more ten. That makes sense. Six, seven, eight. I need one, two, three, four. I need twelve more. Four. Four, four, four. I'm pulling an electrum out, that better be pulling an electrum. Because it looked like silver and gold. Well, hello there, silver. And my window's all in weird orders. Welcome to the stream. Uh, there we go. Eight. Yes, yeah, so I need four more. Okay. Hopefully this is not at the same rate. Anyway. And pull it off just in case. Well, I found a way to halfway automate my ingot production. Ah, oh, nice. Yep. I can get it. I can get the smelter to pull the stuff, the liquid stuff, out into ingots and then into a chest with the transfer node. I just hook up a oh, yeah. I just hook up a timer in Project Red on pointed toward the faucet. At about five seconds, and that ooh lightning. <laughs> then at the five seconds or whatever, and it's just enough time for that ingot to cool off and get sucked in before it puts another ingot in. To cool down. I don't know if that made any sense or not. 
You really don't have to wait to to pour another one. If it's full already, it just won't pour. I know. That way I don't just get like an obnoxious clicking all the time. Mm. Only once every five seconds. And I switched my conveyor belt in my mob grinder area, mob spawn area, to the immersive engineering conveyor belt. And they allow stuff to spawn even if you do have the placement up. Yeah, I've noticed that. <laughs> but it keep it, it's harder for the mobs to get off of them, though. I've noticed. <laughs> harder for me to get off of them, anyway. And they don't. Yeah, it's really hard. And they can't back up and phase through the wall, glitch through the wall. <laughs> you got the conveyors right next to the wall on the back. Yeah, I got my mob spawner so efficient I can turn it off, walk. Walk away and come back, and there's like probably 50 things in there that I can kill. I mean, they're like stacked on top of each other and everything. Crazy. Alright, we have four more of those. So that should be eight coils. Ooh, electrum shears. <laughs> okay, so until I get my QED, my ender things, alright, there we go, cool. I get seven. No, I'll just grab eight. Because they all have seven in them. Let's start that one up. Now I have five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I have twenty-five constant RF per tick. Ooh. Oh, so everything's all charged up. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and get this stuff going. Okay. I mean, they're getting light. I'm getting frame light. Really hardcore now. Compressed creeper. Okay. My ping dropped again. There you go. There's my wireless and my Ethernet are competing now. Oh, came back. Weird. Yeah, anyway, I think let's get this thing cleaned out. And I believe I will go ahead and get this cleared up, and then I think I'll go ahead and shut the stream down. Because it's getting late. Probably get on the server earlier in the day. Maybe stream earlier. I don't know. Anyway. Alright. Let's get everything cleaned up. Oh, my pants broke. My pants broke. Okay. Well, anyway. Hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, if you did enjoy it, uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, but I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Uh, looks like we got a couple more things growing there that we can do there. Figure that stuff out. Got Swather, my scythe. Uh, just got a sword. <laughs> got some coils. 